Hi, and welcome to the All Saints STEAM Academy 2021 Pre-K and Preschool Science Fair, virtually. As we know, we've lived in some trying times this past year. You would normally see us live in our multi-purpose room, but because we value and put safety as number one, we are sending you our science fair virtually. Our students have been studying in both preschool and pre-K this last school year, many, a variety of science topics, probably topics that they wouldn't even believe to be science, but um, have enjoyed it so much that they took on their favorite as their science project at the end of the year. The preschool room um, did a collective project about the uh, life cycle of a butterfly. And in our room, we did a, a huge project at the end of, um, at the end of our year um, where we hatch eggs and um, we had cute little chickens running around our, our classroom which was super exciting and, and one of our um, students did that as well as, as her project. Um, I can't say enough about how dedicated the children were to this project. We started the science boards a month ago and they worked diligently as much as they're on their own independently to put their own material together. Um, and so we're so excited to show you this this evening. I know I, we have a lot of science fans out there. S is the science the st the, in the STEAM um, that we stand by. And we can't wait to show this to you. So without further ado, I will say science rocks. Enjoy. My name is Ellie Gore. My science board is dark. I want to I want to tell you about the dark. And what I'm going to tell you about is that it's all of these dogs. Oh wow! Like the big one and the little one, and all over here. And our science board is cool. You can add dogs over. What are, what are those stars that you're pointing at at the bottom? These are a constellation. What is a constellation? It's a constellation is about good. It's a goodie. And it's the perfect Big Dipper and Little Dipper. Is that a constellation, the Big Dipper and Little Dipper? Yeah. Because they make pictures in the sky. Oh, wow. And it can do whatever it needs to do. And, and the sun, you know, it's the sun and the sun is a star. Wow. And I really say, um, I think I got them all. Do you, is there a picture of a famous painting about stars? <gasps> Dobby Knight. Oh, who? Oh, Who? Big Dick Van Gogh, like all this did. Okay. And Jackson Pollock, Big Dick Van Gogh. Wow. <laughs> okay. And, and what's at the bottom below those? Ooh, does uh, that talk, it talks about our galaxy? Um, yeah. It talks about our galaxy. And every galaxy, it goes like Ellie Gorm. And pre-K. Okay. African. African. Animals. Animals. By. By. William. Mm-hmm. Great. By William. What's this say? Blaine. Blaine. And what's this? What is B. What is no Brian. William Brian Blaine. B is William Brian Blaine. Yeah. Okay. William, what can you tell me about the giraffe? Giraffe have a long giraffe are the biggest animal on earth. Yeah, they're the tallest animal on the planet, right? They're the tallest animal on the planet. Okay. 
What can you tell me about the aardvark and the elephants? Aardvark is a native to the elephant. Right. Okay. And what about the lion's roar? The lion's roar, I don't know again. It can be heard five miles away. Lion's roar can be five miles away. Great. What about, you want to tell me anything about the African elephant? The African elephant has, 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 has big ears. Yeah. And, and they have, and they have fingers on their shank. And fingers on their face. And also, they have the biggest body on earth. Right. They're the largest animal to walk the earth. And also, and also, they have little babies, like, small as this. Oh, cool. When they, when they grow, grow young, they get brown. Okay. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to tell me about your poster? Yes! What? Oh, the, the cheetahs? Cheetahs won 500 miles per hour. Wow. wow. 75 to 125 miles per hour. 70 mm -hmm. miles per hour. Awesome. That is so fast. Okay. Even they have little baby cubs. Yes, they do. Cubs are the baby cubs, I mean the baby cat. Mm-hmm. But, the, but, but the next, but, but the eat. That's the mom mm -hmm. and the baby. Great. Okay. Now about the lion. Okay. No, we already did the lion. We did. I and think. I they think... don't have an eye like story. Mm -hmm. I think you told me everything about your poster. So we did this. My name is Matthew Watte. This is my boy. What's the title? of your project. Sink and flow. So I need just scissors it. Sink. It's okay, you don't have to take it out. What other things were hey Stand over there and show us what other things you uh, you tested. I did a walk, spoon, crayon, and dinosaur. And they all what? Sink. And what this, was the other problem? Yeah, tell us. And this is the float slide. What did you test? Pencil, straw, gummy bear, blue stick, and rock. But you have to turn around and say here. Container is too big, small. Pencil is too big. All right. Matthew, so and tell us where you're. What? What? What's? What else is on your board? Sink and fill. 
And what do check marks mean? It sinks and it floats. So did you learn anything special? Yes, the wood things float and the metal things sink. Say again. The metal things float, I mean sink, and the metal thing. And what floats? Wood. Wooden things float. Thank you. My name is Della Smith, and I am going to talk about a life cycle of a chick. Where did your chicks come from? Um, Casey Farm. What kind of chicks did you get? Um, Rhode Island Red and Dominique. Where are those chicks from? What state? In Rhode Island. Do you remember how many days it takes them to incubate and hatch? 21. 21 days? When did your chicks start incubating? Mm. May 5th? Mm -hmm. And what day did they start hatching? Um, May 26th? Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you get to see them in class? Yes. Yeah, and were you able to see them when you went home? Mm -hmm. Did you watch them on YouTube at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, through a webcam? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did all of the eggs have a chick inside? Mm, no. No? Just one. One, one didn't? Yeah. How did you tell? Because the star flashed a light on it. Yeah. And how could you tell that there was no chick in there? Because there was no black line. What are the ones that have chicks in them? What did they have on them? They had a black line. A black line. That's right. Where did the chicks, uh, where did the chick eggs live while they were incubating and getting ready to hatch? Mm, the incubator. In the incubator. What did the incubator do? Um, it keeps them warm. Yeah. And was there anything inside the incubator that the eggs sat in? Rolling rack. Yeah, and what did it do? It rolled the eggs around so when it hatched, so when the eggs hatched, there um, wasn't any um, eggshell stuck to it. Good. Um, if there was no incubator and no rolling rack, how would the chick stay warm and how would it get rolled? Um, with mother hen. Mother hen would do it. That's right. With her feet. Yeah, with her feet. That's mm -hmm. right. Do you see um, which which pictures up there are the Dominiques? Mm. That one. How can you tell that they're Dominique? Because they're black. Because they're black. And how about the Rhode Island Red? Which ones are those? How can you tell that those are Rhode Island Reds? Because they're yellow. Because they're yellow. That's right. Which one of those is the state bird of Rhode Island? Do you remember? Um, the Rhode Island Red? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Dad, did you know that the white ones have um, little white bottoms and they have white on the, on the top of their heads? That's pretty cool. And, and the Rhode Island Red's bottoms look really gross and I can't tell you what colors they look. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't remember. Yeah. And what did you draw a picture of on the bottom over there? Here? Yeah, what's that a picture of? Um, the light. Yeah, and how about next to it, over there in the middle? Here? No, nope. yeah, that one. The incubator when, um, when the first chick hatched. Oh, there's just one in there and the rest of her eggs? Mm -hmm. And what's and, that? And these two are about to hatch and these aren't. Yeah, what about over here? What are those? This one? Yeah. That's when the first one, like this one, when they're out, when, when they're out of the incubator, when they're, they're still in the incubator. And yeah. I see. And then what about what's on the bottom? This is when the four Dominiques were there and the one Rhode Island Red. Yeah. So you had four Dominiques and one Rhode Island Red before the weekend. How many? How many do you have now? Six Rhode Island Red. Nope. You have three, right? Because how many more hatched this weekend? Um, Two more. Do you remember they're called the twins? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the twins hatched. So there's three Rhode Island Reds and four Dominiques. Yeah, but but the four got taken and now we have one yep. one Dominique. That's right. And did you get to, to hold the chicks? Mm -hmm. How do you hold them? Like this. 
Yeah, where, what, what part of them is, where's their head when you hold them? Right here. At the top, and where do their, what happens to their feet? They, they are on the bottom. They're hanging out. Do you have a picture of you holding them? Mm-hmm. Yep, there's one. And there's this one. Is when his feet are hanging down. Yeah. So what happens to the chick uh, if it's a hen when it grows up? Lay more it will lay more eggs, and then what happens? It keeps going over and over again. Yeah, like a life cycle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those eggs will hatch, and then what? Um, and then... They'll grow uh, into a hen, mm -hmm. and they'll and lay more eggs. And then they'll lay eggs, and those will grow into hens, and then they'll lay eggs, and then those will grow into hens, and then they'll lay eggs, and then yep. the hens... It just keeps going, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It goes over and over. Again. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, no. Do you want to tell them thank you for listening? Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Emma. Today we're going to talk about space. Which planet is the musical one? Neptune. <laughs> okay, hold. Okay, go ahead. So this is the first dwarf planet. It lives in the asteroid belt. His name is Ceres. The other dwarf planets live in the Pluto, which live in the Kuiper belt, which are Pluto, Haumea, Makumaki, and Eris. The first planet, Mercury, has no moons. The second planet, Regents, has zero moons. The first, our planet has only one moon. That, that, our planet has Earth and life. So we can survive on it. it what is, what is it called? The Goldilocks planet. That's, like that's that. the real name. And the real name of the Earth is Earth. I don't take my picture. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So, oh, oh, we forgot Mars. Mars. This fourth planet from the sun. It has two moons. It it's red. The red is it's made of my what is it made of? Iron oxide. Iron Mars is Mars is red because of iron iron oxide. Jupiter, the the fifth planet from the sun, has seventy nine moons. Uh, it has a big storm in the middle. Saturn, it has eighty two moons. It has the beautiful rings. It's the scientists. We can see this planet. So we can see this planet in with the naked eye. Uranus, the seventh, the seventh planet from the sun, has twenty-seven moons. It's it has rings like Saturn, but spins on its side. It has it. It's the iciest planet, Neptune, the windiest planet, it has fourteen moons. And it's the and it can if you go inside of it you'll just blow away and die. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to talk about the mm -hmm. asteroid belt? No. Oh. The Milky Way. Oh, the Milky Way. Okay, go ahead. The Milky Way galaxy is is our galaxy. It's it's it has all of the planets of the solar system in it. Star with it has stars. Emmett, look at me, so I can hear. As, as stars, the asteroid belt, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Those are the planets we already talked about. Okay, and now let's talk about our moon. Our moon looks, okay, our moon is, has, our Earth has only one moon. The moon orbits around the Earth while the Earth orbits.
orbits around this sun. Good job. The sun has solar flares, which, which, which makes the Earth, which make, which makes the Earth lights go off. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we have to, we have to go now. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Gregory Eoli. And my project is on Corona. This is what it looks like in a microscope. Gregory, how is coronavirus spread? Coronavirus spreads by sneezing or coughing. And one, get your hands filled with throttle. Two, put soap on. Three, scrub. Four. Wash. Five. Dry. Good. Great. What are some things you did at home while you were staying safe? Good question. Sleep with my dad. Play games. Kiss my mom. Clean go handles. Shows with the TV mask Play with my sister, go outside, and that's all of it. Gregory, what's the last thing you want to tell us? The last thing is Golden Cross has a really bad sickness. And for, don't forget to wash your hands. Bye. Deer get new antlers once a year. And when they get new antlers, what's on their antlers? Soft velvet. So what do they do? They scratch them against what? A tree, let's see. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. What do deer eat? Yeah, so if they eat leaves, what are they called? Herbivores. Okay, and what do deer drink? Can we see you drink some water? Drink, drink. Oh, you can pretend to drink the water. Here comes another deer to the watering hole. And when two boy deers meet each other, what do they do? What do they do? Do they knock antlers? They knock antlers. And what is this thing called? What is this? A tick. A tick. And what? And what do ticks have to do with deer? They live on a great deer. And then what happens? They're, um, they fall off? On the deer. They fall off of the deer onto who? You. Onto you? So should you check yourself for ticks? No. No? So what do deer do if a predator is nearby? They run away fast. And do all deer live alone? Do they all live alone? Some deer live alone and some? Deer live in groups. Good. Deer belong to a family of mammals called cervidae. Other cervids you may know include moose, elk and caribou. Deer avoid combat. Instead, they try to avoid fights. When they are out in open, regardless of what they, they are doing, away. deer remain alert and they run away.
have have the number of deer gone up or gone down? Gone down. Why? Because um, the deer uh, that killed the person. Yeah. So should we should we keep the deer safe? Yeah. Okay. Hello, my name is Tilly. I will show you the animals that live in New England in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are they? There is crabs, sharks, lobsters, eels, seahorse, stingray, stingray dolphin, starfish, Jellyfish, whale, octopus, fish. Starfish, great white sharks, crabs, clams, turtles, jellyfish, oysters, and hermit crabs and lobsters. Hmm. Can you tell me which one of these animals is your favorite? My favorite is a seahorse. Why? Because of its curly tail. Very good. What animals have you seen when you were at the beach? Which one of these animals? A jellyfish. And what did it feel like? It felt like slimy and smushy. Mm -hmm. What else have you touched or held? A hermit crab. And what does the hermit crab feel like? It feels like feels tickly. Okay, good. And have you ever gone on a boat and caught anything in a trap? A lobster. And what do lobsters have? What do they feel like? They feel... They feel pinchy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Thank, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. <laughs> So, Mount Vesuvius is what I call this volcanoes. Okay. Right how, do, there. how do volcanoes work? By the lava. So the lava is in a big section that goes up to tubes. And tubes in five tubes. So it's so simple that we can go. But it's a long way to Mount Vesuvius and Mount Pelee. So it's a very long way from it. Who has been to Mount Pelee? Miss Don. Very good. What's going on with this volcano right here? This volcano is about to erupt and there's could be lava coming down from it. And that's a bottom tube. It's like very bumpy on the way down. So look how wide this is. So wide and really, really wide. It's rider than a jet plane. Very good. And rider wider than anything. Very good. It's wide as a how giant. How hot does lava get? Lava gets eight thousand eight hundred. Eight hundred two. Two. 1,000 1, 200, 200 degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Or, or 1,000 or 1,000 470 470 to 2,000 to 2,000 190 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Fahrenheit. So, no, like, look at this volcano. It just like has green on it. So that means no smoke, but no lava. But the lava section is under. And look at all the green trees. That means there's grass on the volcano. Though, it's really, an, complicated to see 
because of the clouds in the blue sky. So now, whales lunchtime at Mount Pili. Vesuvius. Vesuvius. Now, that was lunchtime they had one man just felt that rumbling sound. Then just got outside and looked at the volcano. They warned everyone else and the, everyone just ran out of their seats. Where did they go? To the boats. Okay. And then they paddled away and 3,000 made it, but 3,000 did not make it. Very good, thank you. So here we go. So this, ha here is the big, big layer. So here's a big, big tube. Then it goes here. That's a tube that goes to the second tube. That goes up another height, then here. And another height, then here. And another height here. Then it just explodes. So now, we'll talk about this. You know there's bumps on the rock? There's like bumps for a pit angle. And you know that those are the rocks that bump green rocks. Mm -hmm. That's a long way down. What is this? What did you draw? And I draw a town. These are the buildings. This is the rooftop. And this is the water and two sands. This is the sand. And this is the sand. Very good. Can you pour in the vinegar to start the start Grandma, the Grandma, come. Okay, be very careful. Hold on to the handle. Good job. Is that the volcano? Yes. Hi, I'm David. I want to do taking care of the earth. Turn off your water. Uh, and Ride with off, friends. Ride with friends. Let's go waste food. Turn off the computer. Turn off the lights. Turn off your computer. Use the spoon. Metal. Oh wow, so are these things that you can recycle? Yeah. Okay, so you can recycle metal. What else can you recycle? Plastic. Plastic. Glass. Okay. Uh, this is Paper. Paper. Great. Huh? So. What is this made of? What do you think? Glass. Glass. Okay, show us how you recycle. Great. Anything else to recycle? What is that made of? Plastic. You got it. Cardboard. Cardboard, like paper. Great. Why is recycling important, David? That's because you have to recycle every day. You do. And if you recycle, that takes care of the earth. That's if, right. If you make it glitter everywhere, you're going to make the earth be so yucky. <laughs> and what do you do if you see trash on the ground? Pick it up and throw it into the garbage. That's right. And when do we celebrate the earth? On 25th. Great. All right, David, say bye-bye. And don't forget to take care of the oh. <laughs> I'm making a new right here. I'm doing carnival. I always been me either. And I'm and my favorite one is the T-Rex. And he's always the king of the dinosaurs. And he weighs 60,000 pounds, and he uses his strong legs to jump out bushes to eat plant eaters. And he loves to eat meat from plant eaters. And my next favorite is the Velociraptor. He can run so fast, he's more faster than a T-Rex. And, and T-Rex.
actually live in this world and black and black is live in China. And and there is fossils all around the world. You can see them. Well I'm flashing to. And who is it? The fossils? I don't know. Jesus digged up the fossils. Why are there fossils? Because they're extinct. They're extinct. And what is special about the T-Rex? Is his brain tiny or large? So, so, so large. And bye bye. Welcome to my name. Hi. My name is Max, and my project is Madness. And this sticks, and this sticks to magnets. And money does too. Did you hear that funny noise? <laughs> and next sticks is, um, sticks to magnets. This does too. And I'm moving it with the magnet. <coughs> And and bed bracelets don't stick. Plastic doesn't stick. Metal this kind of metal doesn't stick. And and um and magnet stick to magnets. Scissors stick to magnets. Oh no. And and aluminum foil doesn't stick to magnets, but when I put something magnetic under aluminum foil, it it does stick. And a can sticks. Pencil doesn't stick. And this cup doesn't stick. And this water doesn't stick. What the magnet this falls down into? Ah. Gravity and 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 gravity keeps you to to the to to the earth. And when you jump up and down, gravity the gravity does um um that um um brings you down. And and my money doesn't stick. Some money does that stick. Some money doesn't stick. And Legos don't stick. And and the earth doesn't stick. And and the earth doesn't stick to magnets. And 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 erasers don't stick to magnets. And, and, and... What if someone wants to do it at home? What if someone wants to do it at home? All you need is something magnetic and, and a magnet. Huh? Thank you for watching my video! My name is Brooklyn Young Clinton and we're going to watch... And and we're going to learn about the human body today. These are the five things we're going to learn now. This is the eye. It helps you see. This is your ear. It helps you hear. And this is the nose. It helps you smell. This is the hand. It helps you touch. And this is the tongue. It helps you taste. Do you know what the skeleton does? The skeleton, your bones help you stand up, not just be a claw. Then, if you want to see your bones, you can use an x-ray. You can see all of your 
bones. Like my shirt. These are intestines. They help you go to the bathroom. This is your brain. It helps you remember stuff. And and this it help it helps you it's the computer of your body. This is your heart. It helps you pump your blood out all around your body. And this, these are your lungs. They help you breathe. And this is your stomach. It helps you digest your food. And this is your liver. Liver. And, and it helps you clean your body. This is your skin. It helps. It's your largest organ in your body. And this is what we talked about today. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. No, say it louder for me. What's the name of your project? Are you ready? Chemistry Louder and Rainbows. By who? Okay. Can you point to a square and tell us about it? Can you show the blue one? Who's that in the blue square? Isaac Newton. And what did Isaac Newton do? Discovered the rainbow. And how many colors did he say you could see? Can you show us the colors of the rainbow and tell us them in order? Which square that? Red, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Very good. Very good. Can you talk about primary colors and color mixing? Mm -hmm. Show me. Which? What are the primary colors? Turn around. Red, blue, and yellow. Right, and what ha what colors do you get if you mix colors together? Red, and you mix yellow, you get orange. And when you mix yellow and blue, you can get green. And when you mix blue and red, you get purple. That's right. That's right. All right. How about, do you remember over here where you drew the very nice rainbow on the purple square? What, what? On the purple square, can you remember what? When do you, when do you usually see rainbows? With sun and rain. And when do you True. do you see them in the summer or the winter? Summer. The summer. Not winter. That would be that would be silly. <laughs> and can you talk about the experiment that we did? What did we do? Rain, what was it called? Rainbow jelly beans. And what did we do to the jelly beans? What did we do? We poured water and vinegar. We poured water on some and vinegar on some to see which one made them turn to their <coughs> And it was actually both. Right, but what did we, are you kidding? Me? Leo. What did we think that we, <laughs> what did we think was going to be faster? Water. Well, no, we thought vinegar was going to be faster, but what was faster? Water. Water. And that's what beautiful colors they made. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? What else? What's that? that? A rainbow. A real rainbow. A real rainbow. What is that? A rainbow. I think, is that how the light bends to make the colors? I think. You think so too? <laughs> Look, there's a little human right there.
<laughs> Anything else? Anything else? Great project. Hi, my name is Rosemary and I did and, um, my, my science show project on the ladybug life cycle. Ladybugs live on six continents. What's another name for a ladybug? Lady Ford, and they live uh, and there are 5,000 species. And ladybugs live the two to three years, and ladybugs eat aphids. And ladybugs live in gardens. They use these rings to protect the low rings. They use these rings to smell. <laughs> Not rings, tree to smell. Mommy, can we just keep that part in? <laughs> The ladybug life cycle is egg, larva, pupa, young ladybug, old ladybug. And Rosemary, are there any other fun facts you'd like to share about ladybugs? No, thank you. Hi, my name is Hayes. And um, I'm talking about overboard. I'm talking about overboard. And what is an herbivore? What is an herbivore? They eat plants and that's a triceratops and that's a stegosaurus in a long neck. Brachiosaurus. So that's all of it. How old are dinosaurs? How old are dinosaurs? Pretty old. But how long did they live? A billions of years. And then, uh, that's the end. She blinded me with science.